A word for our listeners. Masks of Nyarlathotep is set in the 1920s. We will be using terms and sayings from those times, including some that could be considered offensive. It is not our intention to offend. We merely wish to offer as accurate a view of the time period as possible. Welcome to the Nerds Domain Presents Masks of Nyarlathotep. Join us each week as our investigators follow a path of clues and attempt to save the world from an ancient evil. Starring John Quiet, Justin Kimmett, Shirley Nedzwicky, George Chimples, Jason Hall, and Scott Troiano with Matt Quiet running the table as keeper. Eldritch evils and crazed cultists await you just beyond this music. Hi everybody and welcome back to Masks of Nyarlathotep. This week I'm here with Shirley. Hello. Wallet. Hello. Hello. Uh, Stefan. Hey. Roach. Hi. Aiden. Hi. And Goose. What's up? I'm sorry, I had a brain fart after I said your name. I forgot everyone else's. Oh, I was like, that's my main intro. I don't understand why you're looking at me. So like last time, uh, the Mystery Machine went to investigate some stuff and found a, a, a weird circle in Radio the Active field. Pro. Yeah. Well, not Radioactive Pro. Radioactive Pro. The anti social. <laughs> um, the, the crow's anti social and creepy because it stares at us. So now that the crow's up, let's talk about what's on the ground. No, it disappeared. Oh, the, the, the crow's yeah. gone. The crow's let's, gone. Let's talk about what else is on the ground right there. Well, the U ste- the U sticks, and then he said in the black light there was the UV spectrum. There was another one of the eyes painted in, but you can only see the UV. Mm-hmm. Did okay. the crow poop before it left? Nope. Okay. <laughs> nope. <laughs> It's I a, know. A I know. Like, Did the crow leave footprints? In no, the, the, hard, the, the dirt is still too, 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 too hard. hard. Okay. I can just do like the slow mo thing to see if I can like, see if like, there's there one one that went out the max step. So I want to see if I can make it. Roll sanity. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fair question and it's up to a good thought, but uh, we punish people for that, though. 40. Uh, did Got you it. succeed? Yes. Okay, so you don't lose anymore. It's literally like frame to frame there, not there. It's not even, like, partially gone or, like, you know, it's just gone. Yeah. You've probably been interning long enough that you picked up on a little bit of camera stuff. It's not looking like faded out or anything, like, partially gone. It's just from second to second there and not. Um, the, on the two U-sticks are two. Are <laughs> each one in the middle of the stick where the crow would have been laying over top of them are red dots. Um, they probably have been painted on. It doesn't look like blood. It doesn't show up like blood either in the UV. Well, I, I would pick them up and inspect them, but the last time I did that, it fell into my glove. <laughs> did you replace your glove? Uh, yes. Absolutely. Get the entrance to it. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I pull water on my hand. First off, I like get a water bottle mm-hmm. and pour it yeah. down. And, yes, please wash your hands. Yeah. Touch your oh, yeah. Um, As the water hits the ground. Okay. It kind of just pulls up its nubbin. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm gonna. Oh, you're gonna be one of those guys. Aren't you? <laughs> so, oh yeah, no. Velma <laughs> is going to use a little grabber thing, like you know, the oh, yeah, yeah. super scooper thing. Yeah, because sure. Velma grabbed that from the van, and she can use that <laughs> why, to. Why do you gotta hate? <laughs> it's in my nature. Okay. Oh, uh, I have a pooper scooper. <laughs> you never know. You never know. <laughs> because we have interns. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to use that to um, move through the sticks to see if there is anything underneath them. Um, the sticks have been in, pushed slightly into the ground, so you can move them just fine, but there is an indentation from the sticks on the ground. Uh, but otherwise, there doesn't seem to be anything strange. Are you still using your Geiger counter? Yes. Uh, the, the radiation level is going down slowly. I'm going to bag the sticks. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll take a soil sample from... Somewhere, some of the... the yeah, the, kind of, kind of the stratified in. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Uh, <coughs> and I will actually take a soil sample from the actual spot. Okay. So, um, I will film that and you can see what happens. Okay. And you drew the eye already? Yeah. Okay. Um, you, you, you take the soil sample. It is packed hard. I mean, like... You've dug out dirt before in doing this. It is really in there, and you really have to like probably get out a, a small hand spade to dig out of it. Wait, I wasn't touching with my glove. That was oh no, 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 no! You're not doing that. But I mean, like, it's not like you could just, you know, 
Okay. Use the little scoop thing. Like you have gotcha. to actually so dig, dig in it, there. Dig it. Okay. Um, it comes out just fine. Nothing seems strange about about it while you're doing it. You get the the five or six samples. Um, I give them baggy. They're cup, probably cups. I would yeah. Assume. Yeah. Cup the label. Away. Yeah. Is the symbol still there? Or did it uh, yeah, except for the part that he probably removed. Anything else you guys are doing? Um, is it dirt or radioactive? Uh, oh, uh, yeah, yeah. It's it's uh, clearly it's whatever is in that UV spectrum, whatever is that that is is causing that that radiation. Okay. Or, or causing that radiation signal. Okay. Wait, you said it was dissipating. So it is slowly. Is the like whatever he can see in the UV is that disappearing as well? Nope. Um. So where are you guys headed now? Uh. Well, I guess I'm going to head to. I'm gonna to want to talk to who is there. There's police or anything like that. Local deputies, county cops. There's who's... probably a county sheriff. Okay. Well, I want to talk to him because I want to get more information about the people that disappeared. Mm-hmm. Uh, I will. Go with Fred because I want to find where their city records are. Okay. And I want to see if I can go to well, the city records. Well, I'm the same building. <laughs> yeah, that's what I figured. I want to go to the city records uh, specifically looking for any county court stuff that's happened, okay. the local history. Okay, uh, so we should all go together. Do you guys, since you're out here by the, the other farm, do you want to stop there first and talk yeah, to Yeah, I do want to stop. I want to stop by the. Actually, I want to stop because he said there's two farms over. So I guess if we're out here this way, why don't we stop by the farm that had the sheep that he kind of hedged on the farm? Are you walking back to the cars and driving over to the farm, or are you walking? Well, he said it's like two farms over, so yeah, we have to. Well, go. The, do you want to talk to the farmer that owns the land you're currently? Oh on? yeah, I guess we should do that too. Oh, well, but when he called, he left a message, so it sounded like he wasn't there. So right. we can always swing by later. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, did oh that was the other thing? Did you take casts of the footprints? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So it's taken to probably um after talking to everybody and doing everything probably about two hours total. What time is it? Um, probably right about lunch. So this might be a good time to catch the farmer if he comes in for lunch. He may not. Yeah. So where's the dead cow? Uh, the the two dead cow are two are two farms over. Two farms so the same farm as the sheep. So. I thought there were only cattle bottles. Oh, no, only the the, the 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 farm with the with, that you're gonna go look at the barn that right. had the sheep. That's two over. The cattle are on the other side of town. Okay. Um, while we're going back, I'll look around and make sure there isn't any animals mm-hmm. just dead. Um, as you guys, are you guys heading back to the cars and driving? Yeah. Okay. You guys head back to the cars and start driving. You do all notice that there are, there aren't like flocks and flocks of crows in the air, but there are a lot of birds. A lot more than you would expect. Not like the, a couple here and a couple there, but like you see four or five go, and then you probably see four or five more go a different way. Like, they're not going in any specific pattern. But there are more birds in the air than you would expect in the middle of Montana. Anyway. Are they all crows? Uh, kind of hard to, to tell. They're crow-sized, at least. You're not looking at a bunch of hawks or anything. Um, and now that you mentioned that, you don't see any hawks or eagles or anything that you might expect to see. Not not one or two at all during your time. So it is a little... The skies are, are a little off. Uh, you uh, drive over to... Do you drive over to the first farm? Uh, there is nobody home. So it's just a quick stop. And then you drive to the second farm over where the sheep um, were, were dead. Um, you, As you pull up, the farm, a man in coveralls, your typical farming gear, comes down the steps of his house and comes out to meet you at your, at your vehicles. I am, I'm a uh, farmer, another name. In the no, I'm not a farmer. <laughs> in the dough. Um, oh, right. <laughs> I'm Farmer Goggins. Uh, what what can I do with you? What are you guys? Uh, well, hi, I'm, I'm, I'm Fred Jones. Nice to meet he you. He shakes your hand. hand. He's got a good, firm handshake. His hands aren't dirty, but he does. It, it's clear he's been working soil. He's got kind of a stain. Um, we're from Mystery Machine. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we're uh, investigating some stuff. We wanted to know if um, we could take a look at your barn where you found the, the sheep. Well, ask you some yeah. questions about it. Well, I mean, I've cleaned up. The, the animals since then. They're not still well, I understand here. the sheep are still there. Okay. But, you know, we could, you know, background footage and stuff like that. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, come on out this way. And he heads out towards the barn. Uh, there's only one barn on the property. It's pretty obvious which one it is. 
Um, he takes you out to it. Uh, he and Kino walks in. The barn seems to be empty, which makes sense. It's not raining or anything, so they didn't really bring any animals in. Um, you know, they, you know, there's stalls here and stalls there, and you just take your look. So, um, what happened? How how did you find the, the sheep? Oh, uh, we before? came out. We came out uh, in the morning a couple weeks ago, and the sheep were dead. The yeah. sheep. The yeah. sheep. The sheep. Sheep. Yeah. Um, How many sheep are we talking about here? Oh, three. And um, was there anything weird the night before? Uh, Noises. I mean, lights. It, it, it was yeah. raining, so there's that. Okay. Um. Was there anything? How how the sheep look when you found them? Right? Were they just just looked like they were asleep, but they weren't breathing or anything? Oh. And then um, anything else weird going on in the barn or anything no, like that? No, 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 not really. Okay. When uh, you tried to move the ant, when you moved the animals, was there any heat coming off of them? No, oh, no, no. I mean, we moved them a couple a couple hours later after the sheriffs had come out and kind of looked into it. I mean, sheep don't go dead like that. Um, unless the like lightning scared them to death or something. But yeah, were there any lightning strikes that night? But not. I don't know if there were lightning strikes. There was lightning that night. It was it was a bad storm. It wasn't horrible, but it was it was pretty big. <clears throat> well, they were talking to me before my cell phone and uh, signals. Back. Signals not even available. Like you're not even on roaming. I think it's talk to see if he's trying to fast talk us or. Uh, fast talk is more you trying to fast talk him. No, if you yeah. want to check and see what he's doing, that'd be nice. Why not? I don't like what he says. It's if he's trying to do anything. Oh, but really Yep, he feels like he has nothing to hide. Yeah, that's the impression we get off him. Yeah, he's not gonna hide anything. Well, I look around and I see that there's like blood stains. Um, I look around with him for symbols and stuff like that. Well, so you guys go through the barn. I'm not filming. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. While you guys are going through the barn, he uh he kind of leans over, pulls out a like a lunch box, and like opens it up and starts eating out of it. Like this is his lunch, and he's just waiting for you guys to get done. Um, you go through. I need everybody to give me a spot. Uh, yeah, five fifteen. I mean. Like, 97. Uh, 9 out of 75. As you guys walk through, the people that succeeded, you start to smell a, a light hint of new paint. And as you get back, one of the, the stalls has been painted over. Looks like it's about the size of the three sheep were before. And, and it's it's not immediately noticeable, but when you smell the, the paint and you start looking around for it, it's clear that this has been painted. Um, so like the back wall of the stall has been repainted. Same it's like else. you repainted here recently. Ah, uh, yeah, you know, you just got to keep up the stalls. You don't want splinters or anything getting into the sheep or anything like that. Sure. Uh, that's a three <laughs> out of nine. He, uh, he has nothing to hide because he's already hidden it. He's good. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he, he, the, the story about just upkeep, that doesn't make any sense at all. It's clear that, that he did that on purpose and it's to hide something, so he doesn't have to worry about it now, because even if you city folk figure out something's there, you can't tell what it is. Oh, is it reasonable to presume that since we've been doing this for a few years, that we've worked out sort of signals, oh, yeah, that yeah, I yeah, could yeah. signal yeah. Shaggy to you know start flipping through the various, uh, since he's filming the various yeah, lenses? Yeah, yeah, we'll put the spot and see. Yeah. Um, you, you don't pick up much the there is something on the UV, but it's broken. It's like it's like the paint picked up, covered up some of it, but some of it's still coming through. The the whatever's there, it doesn't. You can't quite tell what it is though. Knife. Okay, you want to go over and start scraping? Yeah. Um, I watched him. Wait, you're gonna be doing this with the, the farmer? farmer? I'm gonna watch yeah. the farmer. Oh yeah. <laughs> as, as you like whip out the knife, he, he he's like eating his whatever, whatever he's eating, and he hears the click of the knife and he looks up and he leans over <laughs> to watch you. Hey, you don't need to do that. And he like closes his lunch pail and puts it down and starts walking towards you. That's alright, we'll, we'll have it repainted. I just want to look at something. Something's showing up funny on the camera here. 
I think it might be a little bit of glare. I just want to make sure we get a good, nice clean shot. So you do you guide your... Oh, you yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, you're getting very low levels, but it's more than background of that same radiation. I'm gonna Does it follow a pattern? Like like if I very like, much the same trace pattern. it out? And, uh, it looks like a circle with the five the lines coming out, and then there's a cluster in the middle. You can't quite make out, obviously, what it is. You start scraping at the middle, and there you can see parts of the eyes, but as you scrape, you take off parts of it, too. Like, mm-hmm. whatever was there to make it, you, you take off some of that. As they're doing that, I'm sorry, you go ahead. Uh, I was about to say, I try to distract the farmer by changing the subject. Um, you know, he's pretty he's pretty intent on whatever's going on there. It's It, it would have been good to try before it happened, but I don't think it'll work now. It's a good idea, though. While uh, they're doing this, I'm going to pick up on the whole, you know, getting a clear shot, and I'm going to use my persuade. Okay. Let's see if I can persuade him at 22 out of 60. Persuade him that that's what we're doing is actually we're just doing. He he knows. You know, at this point, he knows that you guys are doing something that he doesn't want you to. (laughs) If you had started before, it really would have worked, but there's already a knife, and uh, Shaggy had went to town before it was really thought <laughs> fully <laughs> through. <laughs> I was um, standing in the skull, so he's scraping the wall so the barber can't get to him. Uh, are you, yeah. like, physically putting yourself in the well, way? You know, I'm filming the guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, so you're gonna, but, yeah, but, so but you're gonna definitely, the pass okay. Well, he kind of leans, I'm not leans around, stopping him, I'm just standing. He kind of leans around, yeah, you don't need to do that. It's just a fresh paint, coat of paint, now I gotta repaint it. So what was the, um... So I'm going to look at it and go, okay, well, we know there was something underneath the coat of paint. Even if there was something under the coat of paint, it doesn't really matter. It's done and over with. What was what was, what was was under the paint painted in? There was some, like, weird eye thing with some lines. That's it. Right. I understand. But what was it made out of? Oh, uh, it looked like some sort of white paint. Okay. Stop Did you put it on there? No. Do I? Uh, that's a sixty out of nine. He seems sincerely insulted that that you would suggest that he would do that, and then by extension, maybe kill his own sheep. That that he didn't like that idea. I'm sorry, sir. We just we don't know what exactly is going on here. We just tried to we're just trying to make make sure that you had nothing to do with this. Well. I'm, can you roll me a persuade button? I'm a bad boy. There you go. Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> well, you know, I just take your pictures and your your footage and just go ahead and get out of here. And he kind of walks back over to his lunchbox and opens it up and just goes back to eating. He seems pretty upset. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm a good one. <laughs> um... I'm tracking this. Can I see anything? Well, it's mm-hmm. been three weeks and there were sheep coming in and out of here. Not a whole lot of any of that. Alright, well, I think you've got enough footage. Yes, we'll sir. take our leave of you. Thank you for your time. Mm-hmm. Uh, enjoy your sandwich. Mm-hmm. Um, and we'll, I'll start yeah. hurting people can back you, to Can the you car. give me a you only spot in? Sure. 70 out of 75. So I made um, it. He's hitting yeah. buttons. <laughs> um, the, the uh, there is a as you're walking out in the point you, you and make that interaction. There is a small circle, almost like carved into the dirt down by his feet. Not that he's standing on it. But it looks like it's not new. It's probably been there for a little while, but it looks a little out of place. Okay. Circle is in like something swings there. Um, no, like 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 someone took a knife and etched, like just dug out a circle with the knife. So there's just this line all the way around. Not not around his feet, just on the ground by his feet. And it was how big does the circle look like? Uh, it's maybe maybe. Eight inches across. Huh. Not very big. Um, I'll um, I'll pull out my cell phone mm-hmm. um, and act like I'm trying to make a phone call, but I'll take a picture of that okay. for a later. 
Uh, roll luck. Okay, so you forgot to mute your phone, so it was... <laughs> Fair enough. And he, he looks down, what, what's that? And he kind of steps back. Um, and as light kind of, because was, there was a little bit of shadow over it, when the light comes up, you could see the fairy, like, faded that same symbol. Kind of uh, etched into the dirt there. Though. It's all hard-packed. It's a barn. Um, it's kind of etched in there, like, with a knife. So, uh, didn't see that before, huh? No, I didn't. How long, how long has that been there? You, you want to roll? You us. feel free to roll psychology to see if he's lying to you. I made it by one. Yeah. No, he <laughs> sincerely seems taken aback. He doesn't. He doesn't seem to have known that was there. I. I never seen it. That doesn't mean anything. I mean, I'm sketching all of this as we go. It looks like it may have been stepped in a couple of times and dirt kicked into it. Looks like it's been there for at least a couple Does of days. Does it look tamped down like the no, dirt out no, the field? No, no, the, the, the whole barn floor is already hard packed. Right. It looks like this was dug out of the hard pack. Now, is it near a wall? Is it near yeah, it's kind of like where the stall doors, or the, where the stalls start and a wall is. It's almost in that corner right there. Oh, my God. Clearly, something is going on here. Something jinky. And you, I'm sure you can see the resemblance between what's this symbol here and what was on your wall. So perhaps rather than trying to hide things from us and not being completely forthcoming with us, perhaps maybe you and the rest of the town can be a little bit more honest and open with us because well, all we're just... here for is to help find the truth. We're not here to harm anyone or to make fun of you or to show you in a unflattering light. We're here just to find the truth. Look, I don't I don't know what's going on. I just want this to go away. Nothing like this has happened here before. I don't see a reason for us to really dwell on it. I just like it's great you guys you your show's fantastic until that show comes to your town and you know something weird's going on. I if there is some sort of hoax like you guys you folks keep showing, great, but that means that we're all a bunch of dupes. I don't think we have ever used that word for anybody that we have You seen. haven't, but other people do. I do I've used it myself when I look at some of the dumb people that you have had on your show. Well then now you can have more sympathy and empathy for those people and now we can get to the bottom well, of this. I came out, the symbol was painted on the wall, the sheep were dead. Did you see anybody the night before around any did anybody come and visit you? Did no, you... no, it was just your normal normal everyday stuff. Like we I went and did all the stuff in the field. You know, I checked on the sheep when when uh, I heard the the report that the bad storm was coming in, I had them come in, uh, let the cows out because Lord knows they're hard enough to get anywhere. But the sheep we brought in like we normally do, and then the next morning the sheep <clears throat> I mean, it was loud with the lightning. If something could have happened out here, and I wouldn't have heard it. Did, did, did you see any um, um, peculiar uh, actions on any of the other animals, like the coyotes or wolves or crows or birds uh, I mean, or anything like that? We haven't had as many coyote like I mean, all the farmers talk. We haven't had as many coyote attacks as all, but nothing that night. You didn't see anything around your property. Not that I can think of. Any weird tracks? Yeah. Um, no, I, the animals kind of eat up the ground here. I mean, people, yeah. yeah, no, but I mean, even then, like, the animals, there's so many, like, hooked feet on the ground, you can't really tell. Um, I signal to Scooby to look at that circle on the ground with the different, um... No, the different lenses? Yes. Okay. Uh, Scooby, you pick up, uh, you don't pick up anything? In the UV or or anything else like that, Jeremy. Sorry, Shaggy pointed it pointed it out and told you, like motioned for you to flip out to the different spectrums and check it out. You don't pick anything else, nothing in the UV or anything. What frequency do we keep getting hit on? It the U, it's the UV. It's, no, 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 it's the UV specifically. Black. Yeah, or the black. Yeah, the yeah. <coughs> I uh, like, sorry, sorry. Was there like wolves in the area? Like the most coming in? Birds. No. Uh, the birds weren't any different than they were when you were driving. 
Um, I'm going to use the Geiger counter mm -hmm. on that carved image. Okay. And scraped nothing, image. Okay. Nothing at all. It doesn't even, it, in fact, doesn't even make a background radiation. It's just like kind of dead. Like a battery. Positive and negative. Charges. Yeah. Maybe. Huh. Okay. So you guys are headed back to town? Uh, yeah. Before we go, Zelma's going to say, we're just here to help. But I understand that there's apprehension and there's the fear of being found out to be dangerous. So if you really want to find out what's going on, whether it's a hoax or something worse, or something not a hoax, the best thing you can do to help us, to help you, is let your neighbors, let your friends, let the people in town know that we're just here to help. It'll come better from somebody within the community. And I'm telling you, we're just here to help. We're not to fight out the truth. We're not here to portray anybody in a bad light. And we will help get to the, the bottom of this. And then I'm going to roll persuasion. Sure, sure. 16, uh, 30. Out of 16. Uh, 16. Yeah, oh, all right. Well, I'll... You heard about the cows a couple of days ago. They're still across town. I'll give him a call to make sure that he's available. Um, I don't really know of anything else that's happened lately. I mean, literally by the last couple of days. But I'll make sure that he knows. Thank you. Alright, so you guys head back to town? Yes. Um, I have a question. Yeah. Uh, we asked the other doctor for like a map or something of that sort. If, if you brought him a map. Question. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, I'm not... I've heard it from the farmers, but I don't know exactly where they were, and I didn't go to most of them. I mean, when my sheep died, and when a uh, buddy of mine had some problems with, uh, like, a flock of birds kind of dead on his property, um, I went and checked that out. This, you know, I had a murder of crows with a dead on the ground. That's, yeah, that's a little funny. But I haven't really spent... I could kind of give you a kind of locations, but nothing really solid. Uh, the doctor did not actually draw it out a map for you because he didn't have a map for you. If you brought him a map, he was he would be happy to do it. So you don't currently have anything. But from the way he kind of tells you about it, it sounds similar. Without really putting it to a map, though, he can not really discern a pattern. Or if there is one. So you guys heading to town? Uh, you guys drive into, you're going to talk to the sheriff and check out city records, right? City records are more about the disappearances, guys. So you have a, a production van and a car. Who's driving the what? I'm driving the production van. I'm driving the car. Okay. Yeah, you're really not. <laughs> um, okay, who is in what? I think it would be 17. Who is in what vehicle? I would assume that the production van is probably the two interns and everybody else is in the car. Yeah, I'd actually no, be driving. No, the I'm sure driving. Oh, I'm sorry. You're driving the car, so the intern's probably with Shaggy. And the other three of you are in the car. Does that sound right? So, so there'd just be you two in the car, the or in the production van, van, and then the four of us in the car. Yeah. yeah okay. There's probably only room for three total people in the production van with seatbelts and all that. Okay. So. Yeah. All right. Um, as you're driving along, uh, I need uh, both Shaggy and Scrappy to roll drive. Ah, oh, yes. Darn it. So, oh, no. you guys are all dead. <laughs> no. Um, so, as you're driving along, I assume the car's going first. Um, so, you've seen the, the groups of crows, uh, or the groups of birds. Suddenly, like, four groups come together and dive at the front car. Uh, shaggy. Well, no, I mean, like, you start seeing it, and then you're like, you're hitting him like, grab the camera, get And you pull it up just in time to see the front car swerve hard and go off of the road. Uh, everybody in the car, everybody in the car needs to make a uh, sanity check. Oh, yeah. Beat it. Oh, yeah. If you failed, you lose a d6. If you made it, you're fine. People in the back, you need to make a sanity check. It's separate, though. Ouch. Ouch. You made it? You both made it? Yep. Did you, did you lose? How much did you lose? You lost six. Mark it off. <laughs> <laughs> so as this this thing flies down at the front car, yeah. and the car, 
and the car runs off the road, the birds almost stop, and the only you two are the ones that see it. Stop almost in that eye, just sitting there looking at you. And since you both succeeded, you only lose three. <laughs> so, so what happens out of ten? Nothing yet. We, oh, we got okay. rid of Tipper Ace and, and Sandy because I want to run a little hard on Sandy this game. See how quickly I can write it down. Um, Yay. Still at eighty-three. So <laughs> the group of you in the uh, corn or in the in the field, I need Aiden. I need you to roll another drive check. Wait, all of us? Are no, no, just Aiden. <laughs> Aiden, roll another drive check. Dude, you flipped the car over. Um. Oh yeah, still failed. Still failed. Okay. Um. Why are you driving? You're driving his twin. What? I didn't know that was. You feel. <laughs> Stop the, the car. The car has slowed down some, and you feel two tires just pop, pop, and it kind of stops. The van comes to a stop on the road next to it, and that's when the birds come down again, and you feel them bam, 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 bam into the side of the van. Uh, the, I assume you have, like, two windows on the back, um, yeah, and then the, the, front, the front windows. Uh, you hear one of the windows on the back crack, and you look back, and there's like a bird like smashed, with other birds just pounding into it. Um, and then you hear one of your tires pop. And you can feel birds hitting that. And then they just dissipate up in the air. Except for the ones that are dead on the ground. And there are several that are dead on the ground. Okay. Tell me you recorded that. I was recording, yeah, I was recording, yes. <laughs> Do, uh, are we all okay? Everyone's uh, you're all healing. pretty shaken. I mean, yeah. you're you're physically you're fine, but yeah. that that was weird. And the two you of, are not driving anymore. Get out of the driver's seat. <laughs> and the two of you in the pa- in the the production van are very shaken. I mean, that little birds looked at you uh, as a group. <laughs> <laughs> so not just metaphorically, but literally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes, absolutely. <laughs> I think from now on we're going to have a camera mounted in front of the production van and have it on the road drive. Get to work on that. <laughs> Does anyone get out of the vehicle? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I was going to say, I am sitting in the car just a little bit of it. Hands burning. <laughs> I'm going to go check on them. Just okay. Dive okay. Bomb you, you get out of the car. Give me a listen. And actually, uh, I, I get out of the car and I slam yeah. the door. Scooby, you can give me a uh, listen as well. Hold on, just a second. Listen. Oh, hey, I uh, totally not, did not succeed. I got 23. Actually, made fine. Why, why are you rolling? Why are you, yeah, why are you rolling? You have to roll a person. Is that a D10? Right, but you gotta roll another D10. Oh! 21, 21. <laughs> <laughs> And you succeed. Um, so you uh, you hear like this low like whine, and then you realize it's the sound of an engine. And you look back, and there's a car speeding quickly toward you, like like not the 55 that the road allowed, probably like 70, 75 miles an hour. <laughs> right. What do you guys do? I'm gonna hide behind the van. <laughs> get, get, get in the ditch. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run to towards the. Okay. Well, okay. I have my hand on my pistol. Okay. <laughs> are you getting in the ditch, or are you standing behind? Okay. You jump down in the the ditch, and the uh, the car like slam. No, no, it drives very quickly and it screeches tires, and you see, um, you're in the ditch. You look back because you got your hand kind of watching, and everybody in the car, so everybody but Scooby, make a spot hidden. So you're probably in the ditch face down. Oh, yeah. I am. Oh, yeah. I can't get this. I want to get this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You see a, um, uh, so the Marilyn Manson has a very, like, pale, almost featureless face. You see a very featureless face very much like that with these yellow eyes, and they're almost glowing yellow, just staring at you with his hands on the wheel, staring at you as it screeches. And it's like he's slowing down enough to look at you, and then the brakes come off and vroom, just guns the gas. 
Um, can I shoot the tiger? Uh, license plate. <laughs> yes, go ahead and give me a spot hidden. He's going fast. <laughs> uh, you're also going to be at a negative, we'll call it negative 10 for that. Um, 25 under 90. Okay, give me just a second. Stefan, yep. your pistol is going to be on the bottom right, right about where your finger is now. Yep. Just so you know, the rules for pistol are, if you roll with it under, you if you roll a fifth of your total skill, you would impale. That's what you're going to need to hit the tire and pop it. Otherwise, you'll just hit the car if you still hit. So I don't know what your gun skill is. 20%. Okay, so you'd need like four. Five. Four. Well, yeah. Okay. Either way. You can do it, boss. Yeah. I can. 19. Hey, <laughs> so you hit the car. Uh, shatter the back window. Uh, he swerves just a little bit, but keeps going. Um, you get that it is uh, a Wyoming license plate. Mm-hmm. You get the... The first three digits or letters, whatever they are, mm-hmm. you can't get all of it. It's just going too fast. But it gives you a place to start. Um, it's also some sort of, it looked like a uh, Ford um, Taurus, something that there are a lot of. Mm-hmm. Um, everybody that saw the man, give me a, a sanity check. I do too. I made it. Yes, you did. Oh, yeah. I failed. How much did you lose? Um, I failed. If you failed, roll a d6. If you succeeded, you lose nothing. Ouch. That hurt. I'm going to come out of this film like the same room. Uh. So oh, you uh, if you succeeded, is it half or does it zero? You lose nothing. Right. If you succeed, no. Then you roll a d6. And you lose that. Did, did you roll a d6? Yeah, I rolled a d6. Okay. Um, roll a d. You guys are all pretty shaken from this. There are two tires out on the car, which you only have a one spare for. And there's one tire out on the production van, and you do have a, t- a spare for that. However. You can't all fit in the production van. So what do you guys do? You're probably two, three hour walk from town. What's my problem? I pick up the camera and get out of the bench and walk around these guys. Like, camera's <laughs> a little rough. It's not broken, but it's got some scuffs on it. Can I come out of your paycheck? <laughs> I can fix it. He doesn't get paid. It's, it's paid. true. It's true. Um, what did you say? It was awesome, isn't it? What did you say? True. Cell phone. Cell phone? Uh, you're getting one bar on extended network. 911. I need a tow truck. I want somebody out okay. here. You call, you, you call for a tow truck? Yeah. Okay. Uh, would you like report an accident? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So you, you give the information? Yes. We'll have the county sheriff's out there in 20, 30 minutes. 30 minutes? Well, you know, they. Doing what? We gotta come, have them they come need in to from come the out field. Here now. They gotta come in from the field, put on their uniform, and they'll drive out there. They don't need a uniform. Oh, then it'll be 15, 20 minutes. Okay. <laughs> Tow truck will be there any minute. He's not a, he's not a farmer. <laughs> oh, 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 coming from the field. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but now I get it. Uh, so about half an hour later, the tow truck's there. They uh, repaired the tire on the van, and they're going to tow the car back into town. He actually had to remove a tire from the front to put it in the back so they could actually tow it. It's just a uh, buckle. And not a full flatbed. Uh, the sheriff takes your. What do you tell the sheriff? After, what do you tell him to happen? I ran on my crows. <laughs> um. Don't say that. Oh, hey, oh, it's 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 deer. deer. Crazy guy. Deer. Deer. We deer. almost run over. Yeah, we almost hit a deer. We, we, uh, we. Okay. I so deer. I say crazy guy in the toy. No, no, no. Deer. Swerve to miss a deer, and then as we were in the um in the ditch, then somebody in a Taurus with a Wyoming license plate uh drove by very fast, slowed down for a second, and then gunned it, okay. and okay. gave us a menacing look. Fleeing <laughs> the scene of an accident. Yeah, did you catch that against that, the law? Did you guys catch the license plate on yes, that? Yes. We, we gave. The, 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 Okay, you give him the, what, what, the first I'll, he is. writes it down, I'll, I'll run that when I get back to the station. Thank you. Oh, you know what? And he, you know, radios it in and tells him to run it. And they say it'll be a few minutes. 
Um, deer. Must have been a pretty scary deer to have you run off the road where you guys... Oh, we almost hit the deer. Speeding? No. No. Just, we, we almost just hit, hit the It came out, and we almost hit it, so we swerved to not hit the deer, and... It, you See, will, it's his first time driving in the country. We can you roll sure. persuade? Yeah. Uh, 22 out of 60. Oh, yeah, yeah. You convinced the cop pretty well. Uh, <laughs> you, uh, yeah, okay, well, then, you know, we'll get you back into town. Um, you know, a couple of you guys can ride in the my car. One of you can ride in the tow truck, and the rest you can pile into your production van. I'm going to ride with the tow truck driver. Okay. <laughs> I'll ride with the police. Okay. Who's in the production van? I guess I'm with these guys. Yeah, what I was filming. Is Scooby and Shaggy. Um, so where does that put uh, Daphne and Fred? Uh, I will. You want to ride with the, the officer? Yeah. Then I'll ride with the production van. So okay. I want to go through some stuff too. So, uh, so the tow truck You're driver. With the tow truck driver. Are you with the police officer? I'm with the police. Okay. So I so hope that I don't get hurt in the police car. Either. You'll be fine. So you guys go back into town. the 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 cars dropped off at the tow truck drive, tow truck slash repair shop slash uh, tractor repair shop slash uh, baked goods store. <laughs> <laughs> On the drive, I would like to talk to the tow truck driver, just get a sense of what his uh, perception of the history so, of the so, town. So, is. so I'm that. helping him. For no, no, start that conversation. Oh. So you. Have you lived here a long time? Are yep. you a, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> so, so you know why why we're here in town. Yep. Do you watch the show? Yeah. <laughs> you, oh, oh, okay. So, um, what what's your take on all the strange things that have been going around on around here? He looks thoughtful for a moment. Picks up a, a Coca Cola bottle, spits into it, puts it back down, and goes, interesting. <laughs> does, does any of this scare you? Nope. I don't have any cattle. Well, but people have gone missing. Yep. Aren't you scared of going missing? No. Nah. Why not? They've all been farmers. So, oh, okay, so this has all just been, this has only affected farmers. Yep. And you're not a farmer. Nope. Wife's a baker. Okay, yeah, really, what you bake? All kinds of stuff. What's the best thing? What's your favorite thing? She makes this sticky bun to die for. Does she have any in the shop when we get there? Probably not. Why not? Lots of people like them. Okay, what's your second favorite thing? That's, you know, she makes pretty much everything else really well. Okay. That's the best one. We'll get back to the shop. Yeah. He, uh, he, uh, he is, there is no verboseness coming out of this man. He doesn't, yeah. he doesn't seem like he's hiding anything. It just doesn't seem like he's talkative. Like, he took the tow truck job to have something to do while his wife baked. <laughs> and he likes working on, on, on cars. It's kind of one of those people. Okay. So I think, um, uh, uh, Scrappy, I think he, Scrappy and I would definitely, um, go chat up the, uh, sheriff as we go into town. Okay. Um, so, um, what do you think about what's going on around here? Uh, you know, strange stuff. I saw weirder things in, uh, in Afghanistan, though. Oh, you're a soldier as well? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Well, I was. So, um, what made you come back? I mean, have you lived here all your life? Oh, yeah, yeah, I grew up here. Yeah? I was a farmhand for a few years, and then uh, I took the money I got from being in the service, bought a farm. Now I got me a good parcel of land, and I, you know, cattle, sheep, a little bit of uh, wheat, corn, that kind of stuff. Any any of this affecting you or your land? I or? mean, one farmer goes, we all know this, so we're all friends out here mostly. Mm -hmm. You got your occasional scraps between folk, but nothing. And how many people have disappeared? Oh, maybe a dozen. Anyone, I mean, really close, like, come over for dinner, have a close? I mean, we all have dinner at the diner occasionally. Mm -hmm. Just depending on who's there that night. Mm -hmm. Um, are you afraid of going missing? Nah. No, whatever's out there, I, I'm a good shot. Whatever's out there, I can. Um, any of your uh, livestock or crops been affected by this? 
Uh, you know, we ball lost a little bit of something. I found some, uh, kind of like a whole burrow of bunnies. Ooh, Just where? Dead. No, I don't know. On, on 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 and, and I knew they were there, and you occasionally catch them, you know. Mm -hmm. Catch one, cook it, but no, the whole, like, the whole family of them is just dead. Do you mind if we come out and take a look at that? Oh, that's been weeks ago. I've burned those. Uh, the area where it was at. Oh, yeah, 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 definitely. Did you find anything else around the area where they had died? Well, yeah. I mean, you guys have probably seen it by now, that the, the eye thing. Mm hmm Yes, that, that was there. Yeah. Um, anything else that you noticed was strange? No, um, no, not really. Where else have you seen the eye? Every place that this has happened. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A very, very interesting part of this. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know what that means. I mean, Afghanistan was one thing. This is something totally different. Do you feel like you're fighting an enemy out here? No, I'm betting it's kids pranking, screwing around. It's livestock's expensive, but kids are stupid. So, so you and think I, it's just some of the high school kids? Yeah, I don't know what's going on. I don't know that this, that, and the people disappearing. It's not like we found anybody dead. They're just, they're not here. Well, like disappearing as in taking all their stuff and moving nope, just out of gone. town, or just, just gone? Just gone. And you don't find that peculiar in any way? I mean, yeah, it's a little weird, but what are you going to do? Yeah. I, mean, I, I, I the, as, a, as an officer of the law, I can't draw a line there. There's nothing to, to really show me that those are connected. They just happen to be happening at the same time. So, a lot of people have been commenting on uh, the decline in coyote attacks. Have you noticed that? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. We all noticed that. It's, that one. it's, a, it's a positive. Is it? Oh, yeah. Less coyote attacks means less animals are moved that way. Have you seen any other strange. Um, you know, a lot of crow. Acting. A lot of crow. Do you think that's because of the decline in the coyotes? I doubt it. I mean, maybe it's because the crow is just. There's a lot of weed out here. The animals dying, but I, I don't know. I'm not. Uh, you know, I know. I know sheep and cattle. I don't know much more. Um, where is a good place that you have like good? Do uh, you have any Wi-Fi out here? Anywhere? Diner? <laughs> well, you know, we get store? we get a decent signal at the police off station. In fact, here we are. And the yeah. light pulls up right about there. Would you mind if I um got online and I, I'd like to do some research? Oh yeah, sure, sure. Okay. So you guys all pull in uh, the the repair shop slash bakery is like three doors down and across the street from the police station. I police... bring baked bake goods. Oh, okay, Scooby wants a snack. Okay, um, the 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 uh, the sheriff um, the the sheriff uh, station or the yes the sheriff station slash city hall slash like court is all one building. And it's one of those older looking court buildings, but it's not very big. Um, this, as you found out on, in your research, is the county seat. The county's huge, not a lot of people. Um, but uh, yeah, you guys all arrive. Uh, Daphne, or, I'm sorry, Velma comes uh, over with a box full of baked goods. Um, they didn't have any sticky buns, they were bought out. The wife doesn't shut up. You, you can tell why he doesn't talk. <laughs> Can't get a word in. She's like she told you all about all 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 the stuff, and she's so proud of her husband for helping people. And, um, are, are they do they taste the same as with the wife? Oh no, no, no these are different. These are like professionally baked instead yeah. of like this is a bakery bakery. This isn't like home cooked kind of thing. Yeah. While she was talking about yeah. this, I did a psychology game. Sure. Was it similar to what uh, Mrs. Moore? No, she just doesn't shut up. Okay. <laughs> I mean, she just, she, this is what she does all day, so she likes talking to people. And by now, it's probably, I, I told you it was noon when you guys were headed over to the other barn. It's probably 2, 2.30 by the time the cops got to you and brought you into town. So, you know, it's getting along in the day. Um, while we're driving back, uh, well, I was reviewing the film, by the way. Did I see anything? Uh, just remember that they stopped and that was all good. You uh you got a good shot of that eye. Like even if it the shit camera's a little shaky and it is, that's gonna be good for T V. Um 
you got a couple of really shaky shots of like the back window where the crows were hitting, um, and you had a good shot of them dissipating all weird like. Um, and the camera picked up the car driving by. Did you get the guy? Did you see the car? You could hear it pretty well, and then you could see the car driving off. Um, nothing else really special that kind of sticks out. Does it see the person driving? Nope, you can't see it. It's, it's laying on the ground at an angle, so you get like the side of the door, and that's about it. So you like shot it. <laughs> so. <clears throat> um. <clears throat> I've watched the video, mm -hmm. so you see that eye thing and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I know. I have to. I have to be fair about are, it. Too. Are you all? Are you all going to review the video? I yes. Assume? Yeah. Yeah. If you didn't already, you you already oh, made yours. Yes, right. That's right. The other four of you will need to make sandy checks. So was my casino in the first, or would I know anything about this? I must say, watch your video first. Yeah, really? yeah, you don't need to. You already rolled for this on a way I did not make that one. I made oh, mine. Yeah. Yay, I made mine. If you failed your roll, you roll a d8. Oh, no, if you made it, you lose one. Yeah. You can and roll. And until we lose his, yeah. we'll roll our d8? Yes. <laughs> It's um, really late. <laughs> Shirley, go ahead and roll. Go ahead and roll. It's gonna be funny. No. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. Something's going on. Those curl. But uh, you, you both, all of you can roll a cold if you have it above base. I think most of you do. Uh, sixty-six out of ninety. Oh yeah, fourteen out of eighty. Three out of sixty. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled an eight, by the way. All right. I called the hell out of that thing. <laughs> so you guys kind of stand around the, the police station waiting for everything. To I'm going to do work research. Okay, hold on. Hold on, just I'm a second. Stand around. Uh, you 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 kind of you get in there. You you have a couple of donuts. You haven't eaten lunch yet. Um, in the police station, yeah, I know. Um, you're waiting for the car tires to get fixed. They have them in stock. It's going to take half an hour, maybe. So those delicious donuts we bought. Yeah. Um, and then uh, you get, you're talking quietly about what's going on. You realize that whatever is controlling those birds, that's a spell, but if it's connected to these eyes, and the eyes are all over town, that might act as a focal point and allow that control anywhere. If, if essentially if, if there's a cell tower in a, in a close enough area, it's going to be able to control the birds. So maybe those fo those the, the spots with the drawing or with the, the symbol are acting as cell towers or, or control towers from that those areas. So it's possible that this whoever's doing this could be just about anywhere inside that area. So if we destroy like the radius, if you destroyed all the symbols that that would that would be. Um, and if it, it would it would hinder whoever's doing it potentially. There's a good chance for that, but there's a lot of symbols. I'm going to after we have this conversation, uh, see if I can come at the county records and just see if I see it, if anything pops out. Roll me. roll a library use for me. Surely you can also roll. I have a history. I have a history okay. later um, you, it'll be actually in our library use. But I will go without library. Yeah. I have a okay. seven out of seventy-seven. You guys can all roll that library as for me. Why would I roll the base library? Because oh. you're, you're a BA in history, or in art history, and wow. you don't do a lot of... Yeah, but I have Cthulhu, so that's from research? your experience. Five out of fifty. Nice. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Five out of fifty. Yeah. I know the Dewey Decimal System. What were you trying to research, Shirley? Um... I didn't realize that the Cthulhu Mythos was based on my experience. I thought it may have been on, like, knowledge and research. Oh, so what were you trying to research? I was going to, like, get into my Cthulhu Mythos databases and oh, no, no, look no, no. up um, um, history of... Like, uh, weird bird things like this, or...? No, I'd look up, um, like, pagan ritualistic, anything like cultish, anything other religions that may have to do with an eye symbol. Okay. Um, um, you get a crows. couple of hits on stuff, specifically with the eye of Ra. I mean, there's a lot there. 
you um, read something about the Eye of Light and Darkness, but it is more Egyptian-based than this. Um, and it uses the protection rather than anything else. Mm -hmm. um, and that's really kind of, that's where your, your um, research kind of leads you. You do a little bit of online research, and mm -hmm. that's really about all you've got right now. Uh, the rest of you kind of did. J. Aiden, did you go with them to the records? Yeah. So, so the five of you all went to the records, left Daphne all by herself. No crows. Um, I mean, there's a lot about in the cult about crows. And you pick up on a lot of that stuff, like um, the beliefs that they they hold souls and yeah. so on and so forth. Just the basics. But I'm specifically looking for no, being controlled by nothing someone. bad you can find there. Uh, you guys all go through the, the county records. You, most of you succeeded, right? Or all of you? I got a five out of fifty. Oh, that makes a difference. <laughs> um, seven out of seven, the, seven. The, This is the most boring county you have ever encountered. I mean, like, there's nothing going on here. Uh, it rained. It, it, there was sun. And then there was winter. And then it rained again, and there was sun. And there, like, there's nothing here. There's nothing important here. No, like there's a, you know there's scuffles between farmers for police reports. You know, there's the occasional accident, but like nothing. Important I'm also here. for the records. I was still more looking for the records on like who disappeared. Yeah. Um, How does all, their farms all, lay out on a map? All of them. Um, all of them are farms outside of town. Uh, all twelve people. Um, None of them are all, they're not like it's all cluster on the north. It's kind of just scattered across the outside of town. There's no real pattern other than you can just draw a circle around it because it's you know, not a circular circular pattern, but it all centers around town, which means they all are from here. Okay. Um, just because we keep seeing the eye, I'm going to ask a question. If I look at it, does if I ever draw the lines right, would it actually form the line? Uh, would it form the eye? We'll look for it. If you worked really hard at it, you might be able to, but it doesn't feel like you could draw the five lines. But the eye itself, there's no way because the eye in the picture or in the stuff you've seen to incorporate all of them, the eye will be the town. So that might mean something, but the, that just means the town's at the center of everything. If I were to add the animals, um, not really. Okay, not really. So there's not like a location where, in a certain direction, where the um, incidents happened more. Like it doesn't seem to concentrate toward one area or another. It just is no, it's just scattered haphazardly. Yeah, scattered haphazardly. Um, you do you do note that all of the animals killed are in groups of three every time. Um, and that every person that's been taken has been taken while they were alone, which not a huge deal. And it's they've been like one person was taken twelve times, and each time that person was alone by themselves. There wasn't somebody else home or something. Does the animal deaths coincide with the number of people? No, no. There's you know a whole family of rabbits, three. So like the whole family of rabbits was. Well, I mean, like, for times like it, was no, it three no. crows three? No. Is there any pattern to the tall people like off the males, off the males? No. Related? Um, there's a little bit of relations, but only because it's a smaller town. But no, there's no real there's no real pattern there other than they live on farms and they're outside of town. You suck. Are we asking the wrong questions? No, you're doing fine. <laughs> you're doing fine. Well, um, anything? Well, I'm trying to pick one what's going on. Yeah. By the time you guys are done with all the research, uh, it's probably right after dinner. You probably had something brought in. I'll try one more thing, and I guess this is probably computer. I guess I don't know. Um, I'm gonna take a photo and upload it to my computer and do a reverse Google image search of the eye. Oh yeah, go for it. Try that. <laughs> I like that. Okay, I was just saying. Thirty-nine out of sixty-five. Sorry, my uh, So. You find a story from uh, like 1938 talking about this cult in um, Australia 
called The Cult of the Sandbag. It talks about how they believe that their god slept beneath the sea. He was this, this elder evil, um, but this eye was used to focus his vision on whatever was going on. Um, there's no ties to any crows or anything like that. None, none, animal deaths don't make sense to me in regards to this. Okay. Um, but he was also a god primarily of the water. And you're in the middle of freaking Montana. <laughs> so that that I mean that doesn't necessarily tie, but the symbol is similar. The eyes specifically, the lines don't make any sense. They don't they don't coincide, but that eye is not identical, but very similar to what's in the article. Okay. It's the only article you, you read about it, but it references uh, a tome, uh, something called the mnemonic or the mnemonic. Manuscripts is not the model. I should just look it up in the book because that would make sense. I think I even have the page. No, that's not it. Okay. Uh, narcotic. There it is. Ha. Uh, P N. Uh, yeah, that that's my fault. P N. A. I'm looking for it. K O T I C. P N A K O T I C. Yep. Nicotic. Manuscripts. That's an English book written in the 15th century. Okay. Supposedly there are five copies in the world. One of them went missing in the 20s. Mm -hmm. The nearest one is probably at Arkham. Okay. Um, Arkham University, or Arkham, I'm sorry, Miskatonic. Miskatonic is like the... Yeah, Yale. not Arkham. Ar it's in Arkham. It's, yeah. it, it, the nearest one's probably Miskatonic. Miskatonic is like the Yale of your time. It's, it's, it's a pretty important Ivy League school. Also known for its parapsychology, so if you talk to a parapsychologist, she might even have drawn it. Like, that's, it's important enough. Okay. I would have to switch with this speaking. Yeah, there you go. See, so you know she's been to Biscuit and she went to Biscuit Uh, so I will bring the information that I found to you, uh, the book and everything else, and share it with you. And, uh, see if that roll, brings any bring up roll for luck you. for me. Uh, thirty-eight. Uh, during. <laughs> You're, yeah, a lot of a lot of you have good luck. Yeah, fifty five. I feel kind of cheated over here. Uh, it's still actually a decent luck. <laughs> um, during your uh, dissertation, you did some research and were were, were able to request access to the Nicotic manuscripts. It's a, like a part of their rare collection, and they don't let anybody in. Um, now that he's jogged your memory, you don't remember seeing the eye, but you do remember reading about the sand bat. And his importance, and it, it ties in exactly what the story is about. Um, but it doesn't say much more about the cult or what to expect than you remember. You might, might be able to contact some people and see what's going on with the book, but Massachusetts is some distance from here. So, so just to be clear, mm -hmm. this is a book written in the 15th century mm -hmm. about a cult from Australia. No, this is a book written in the 15th century that references the sand bat that the cult in Australia also was part of. Okay. Yes. Sorry. Just making it. Um, I will send emails okay. to the people that I think might have some reference. Okay. And then it's after dinner. Mm hmm We... We had a long day. I'm gonna go to the diner mm -hmm. and see who's there and kind of sit and maybe have a cup of coffee and learn the townsfolk. Yeah. Well, before you do that, that'll do us tonight from Asses of Nyarlathotep, uh, and we will talk to you guys real soon. And that'll do it for us tonight on the Nerds Domain Presents Masks of Nyarlathotep. Remember, you can email us at nerdsdomain at gmail.com or find us on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash nerdsdomain, or Twitter at nerdsdomain, 
or over at our site, nerdsdom.com. Be sure to sign up for the newsletter while you're there. You can head over to iTunes and give us a five-star rating. We want to thank Josh Shop for our music. Don't forget you can support us at patreon.com forward slash nerdsdomain. And check out our shirts at slashloot.com.